Hey guys, welcome back to this machine learning course. In this video, we are going to learn about the life cycle of a machine learning project. We are going to go through each and every step and let's discuss about them. So that's the life cycle of a machine learning project. I guess you have already seen it in the overview section. So first of all, we have understanding the problem. Whatever the business problem or whatever kind of problem that you will be working on, you should be getting uh, knowing about what exactly you need to do and just understand about the data and about the domain. Then you have to collect out data. Now for collecting data, we are going to use Kaggle. From Kaggle, we are going to take out some of the data sets. I'll also show you some other places from where you can get out data sets. But uh, for this course, I have taken most of the data set from Kaggle. Kaggle is a place for competitive um, machine learning. So we are going to look into Kaggle much later once we complete some of the algorithms and I will then personally tell you guys to jump into Kaggle for more practices. So for collecting data, we are going to use Kaggle. Kaggle will give us some data sets. Okay, these data sets are quite raw, not exactly of real life uh, appliances, but uh, if you participate more and more in Kaggle, you will be getting out some real life deals. So. In the next two steps, these are known as feature engineering. Clean and processing data. This is known as data pre-processing. Data pre-processing. And this step is known as feature engineering. So even quite a times when we refer to feature engineering, we account data processing in it. These are the two steps that we are going to look into our next section that is data pre-processing and feature engineering. So let's refer it to out as feature engineering. So feature engineering is something where we are going to convert our raw data. So raw data with uh, featured data that's referred out to featured or featured or clean data okay so our raw data whatever data there will be some missing data so you have to encode something all of these will be converted from raw to some of a clean data from which our model will be trained out at the end we will be using machine learning to predict it out so again for raw data we are going to learn about data free processing and feature engineering from the next section for machine learning let me tell you, show you how the life cycle looks like again. Okay. So here is data ingestion. That is the data you are feeding in. Again, the data discovery. So it is quite like the features that you will be needing. If I'm not making sense, that's completely fine. From our next video, when we start act eventually with the hands-on part, then you are going to make more and more sense. So in the data discovery part, from the data, you are going to learn about features that are important to predict. Then we are going to do feature engineering. That is in the next section we are going to learn. Then we have model development. So model development and model training. All of these comes in the ML algo part, but which we are going to start after uh, the feature engineering part. And at the end, we have model scoring. So before we start with machine learning, we will be having one more small section that is to know about all about accuracy, RMSC score, then different kind of error rates. So all of these we are going to learn and then we are going to jump into machine learning so that your foundation is quite clear. And once you jump into machine learning, whatever words or whatever terminologies that I use, it makes more and more sense. So that's it for this video. Let's catch up in our next section when we start with feature engineering.